Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to protect your WordPress site from hackers and how to make your site hack proof. Now, there are a couple of things I'm gonna run you through here. First, I'm gonna show you what you can do on WordPress with WordPress itself. Then we're gonna have a look at what you can do on your computer and with your hosting, and also what you can do to mitigate any external factors such as the other users using your website. Now, there are some fundamental things that you want to be doing. The first thing starts with your username and password. Having a strong password is incredibly important. That's gonna be the number one port of call for stopping people getting into your site. If you have a simple password, then hackers are simply going to just be able to guess what the password is and get into your site. This is obviously not good. You can change your password by going to users and then clicking on your profile. If you scroll down here, you're gonna see that at the bottom you have a new password under account management. Here you can generate a new password just by pressing this and you're gonna see by default, WordPress creates a randomized password for you that is including lots of uh, special strings as well as numbers and letters. The randomized string is going to be much harder to guess and therefore you want to be using something like this. Obviously it's a lot harder to remember but it's definitely worth it and you can use a password manager such as the one built into your browser or something special such as LastPass or 1Password in order to make sure that you don't need to remember it and that your computer can remember it for you. So you're going to find this here, you can just press update profile in order to make that change and just make sure you have the password written down before you do that. You never want to have your username or password as admin as this is going to be very easy to guess. Next thing you want to do is to make sure that WordPress is kept up to date. You're gonna find a notification in the top left here which is going to tell you when you have updates available, either to themes, plugins, or WordPress itself. And you're gonna be taken to the WordPress updates page which is going to show you all the updates available. First, you have updates to WordPress. These are the most important and you absolutely want to be kept up to date with your WordPress version here. When new versions are available, it's going to say here and some installations will also update as well. And you just need to uh, tick the box and then update here. Make sure you run a backup before you do that. And you can use a plugin such as MyWP Backup in order to do that. Next down, you have plugins. Any plugins you have installed, you're going to have updates available here. And finally, we have themes. Here I have three themes um, which have updates available. So I just need to click this to select all and then press update themes. WordPress is now going to download the latest updates for those and I'm gonna see here that those are updating and now that has finished and I have updated. I can return to the WordPress updates page and we're gonna see that everything is up to date. Keeping everything up to date is incredibly important for maintaining security as updates will often contain bug fixes or security fixes. There are now a couple of plugins I'd like to show you that can really improve your WordPress security. You're going to be able to install these by just going to plugins and then pressing add new. You can then just search in the top right for all of these plugins and you just need to press install now in order to install those. I'm just gonna show you these on wordpress.org in the WordPress plugin repository. First up we have remove version. What this is going to do is remove all mention of the WordPress version number from your meta information on your site, your RSS, as well as JavaScript and CSS parameters in order to increase security and thwart potential attacks. This is going to make it much more difficult for hackers to understand which version of WordPress you're using and therefore what security vulnerabilities might be available. You can install this just by searching for remove version from the add plugin screen on your WordPress dashboard. Next up, we have simple login log. And what this is going to do is keep a track of who is logged into your site and where they're logged in, as well as their IP address and what browser they are using. This is going to make sure you can keep a tab on any users you've got. And this is especially useful if you're running a site with multiple users and you can therefore keep a track on who is logging in where and make a note of any suspicious activity. You can then follow that up with the user and if something is up, you can make sure that that is cracked down upon immediately. Next up we have Login Lockdown. This is an extremely useful plugin for stopping brute force attacks on your site. It limits the number of login attempts from a given IP range within a certain time period, meaning if someone is repeatedly attempting to get into your site just by entering passwords and just trying to guess the password, this is going to lock them out for a period of time. 
This is an extremely useful plugin to have and essentially going to stop uh, either people or script just from guessing your password just by trying every single combination possible. Login Lockdown is a free plugin. You can also install that just by going to add plugins. Finally, Google Authenticator is going to add the Google Authenticator application to add two-step security to your login. You might have two-factor authentication already in use for things such as Amazon, Dropbox, and Gmail, and you can make use of the same technology. What this does is connect your Google Authenticator account to your WordPress account, meaning you need to physically have the code from your phone or device in order to log into your WordPress account. So all of these plugins you can install just by going to plugins and then pressing add new. So for example, to install login lockdown, I would just do a search for login lockdown on the right hand side. Just search the plugin name and then just press install now in order to do that. Press activate plugin and WordPress is going to download and activate the plugin onto your site. If there are any settings to set up, you're then going to find them under settings and then login lockdown here or perhaps on the menu on the left hand side. I'm now going to show you some things that you can do on your computer in order to ensure security for your site. The first thing to do is involving networks. Now you want to make sure you don't log onto your website on any unsecured networks as your web traffic may be intercepted and thus someone can see what your password is and access your site. This includes places such as internet cafes, libraries, airports and other public Wi-Fi hotspots. You should also be careful that no one's actually physically watching what your password is. If you're in a public place and logging into your site, this is an extremely obvious thing to do. So just take extra care as you would with your bank details, for example, to make sure that you're not exposing your password in public. You should also make sure your computer doesn't have any viruses on that. You can do that using free software such as Komodo, which offers internet security, antivirus and firewall, or AVG antivirus, which offers antivirus protection. Both of these are free and you can find them just by Googling their names. Other options include a virus or zone alarm and you can find those again just by Googling those. If you're uploading files via FTP, perhaps using a program such as FileZilla, then you can use FileZilla to make sure that you only connect using secure FTP or SFTP for short in order to connect to your server. You'll typically find those on the cPanel, but if you have any difficulties, just email your web host in order to find those. We're gonna flick back to your website now and have a look at users. Now, the users who have access to your site are actually one of the biggest security threats to you, and you want to make sure that these are managed properly. You never want to give access to your site to people who you don't know and trust, especially if that's administrator or editor access. You want to make sure everyone who has the power to access your site and edit any information on it can be trusted. As I mentioned earlier, you can use plugins such as Simple Login Log in order to track who is logging in when and keep a tab on your users, but generally you want to make sure that users can be trusted. You also want to make sure they all have good passwords, have the same level of security that you have on your account. You don't want to give people who you don't know or trust access to things such as FTP. If you do need to give uh, perhaps developers temporary access, then you can create an account and just delete it later by ticking the box and then going to bulk actions and then pressing delete. That will just maintain security on your site. If you're allowing users or indeed anyone to upload files to your website, um, either using the media uploader or external public facing forms, you want to be very wary of this as hackers can use malicious scripts um, in order to upload files that take control of your website. This even includes images because files such as image.jpg but then with an additional .php can hide the uh, PHP segment of that file and can slip through the net. So therefore you need to be very vigilant about who you're allowing to upload anything to your site. That just about covers everything. If you want to know more, you can head over to the WordPress Codex. You can find an article called Hardening WordPress, which is going to cover many of the same themes we've covered here, but with some additional code uh, details. You can also find an article called Brute Force Attacks, and here you're going to find, again, some of the details we've covered, but with some additional information about protecting yourself from brute force attacks. You'll note one of the recommendations is that you have good, solid hosting that is secure. If you're wondering about your host, you might want to switch over to the recommended host from My Theme Shop, and you can find a special offer for that at mythemeshop.com/web-hosting-offer in order to find that. 
Security on your WordPress site is incredibly important and I hope this video has been very helpful in ensuring that you're always protected at all times. Make sure you put these into practice and thank you very much for watching. Thank you.